Hi, my name's Skip and I'm a commercial photographer based out of San Diego. And I'm not a real techie guy, but I've been using the Hensel Porti out in the field for quite a while. So I'm gonna give you guys a brief overview of that pack and I hope you learned something. So to begin with, let's go ahead and connect the head to the pack. And it takes a um, male to female to connection, male on the, um, the cord. You've got a white dot. I don't know if you can see that from the overhead view right there and then a um, white dot right here that's going to line in and you just want to be careful because if you don't do that correctly the pins can get dent and damaged actually charred and then what will happen is that can damage your pack but not only that if you then take that charred cable and connect it to a good pack it can damage that one as well and just start spreading like a cancer so watch your pins don't bend them if they do get bent you can straighten it out with a pair of pliers uh, but just put it in the right way and then just make sure it's threaded down all the way and on the head it's a bayonet system so you've got three prongs that are just going to grab on these guys are great I've mounted a large extra large box of these and you just lock these in and they'll be able to hold the weight no problem and attach them to the stands they fit a regular C stand or other stand um, on the head as well and so to power the pack on you hold the on button for roughly a second and a half you see that halogen that's what type of modeling lamp we are set for this has a 60 watt modeling lamp in it this newer style head this pack was purchased the end of 2018 and so you can also um, take the battery out and put in an ac adapter drawer which will allow you to plug the pack into the wall but it'll also allow you to put a 300 watt modeling lamp in here and get a stronger continuous light. But if, if you try to put that lamp in with the battery, it's just gonna give you a low glow and not work. So you gotta use the 60 watt lamp for the battery uh, setup. So right now we're on channel one. If you're wanting to change your channels, you've got three channels. Hold the RCCH button for two seconds till it starts flashing and go through the either arrow will work and you got three channels they've also got a technique in here called free mask there's three free mask channels and i've never used the free mask but my understanding of how it works is the camera takes two quick shots one for the background one for the main making the subject dark and then you can go in post-production and do an easier clip out with it and so the transmitter that comes with the kit is super straightforward and simple you've got three channels if you're wanting to just change one of the channels without going over to the pack you can do that from the transmitter and so to take the power up you just hit the power up button and then to take the power down you just hit the power power down button and it does everything in tenth of a stop increments and then you've got a modeling lamp you can control that from the back of the head with the flick on and so that's going to turn it on one tap will turn it off the other way you can control that is by doing a tap and um, that's going to turn your head on and see how it's flashing for 30 seconds so now if i try to turn this off it's not going to turn off until that 30 second timer is done or the the idea behind this is like you want your modeling light while you're trying to get your shot figured out and then once you fire your shot the modeling light turns off to save juice if you want to just um, control the modeling light manually, you hold it for two seconds. Now it's going to be on continuously until you tap the button again. So there's a couple different ways you can control your... You hold that power down button for two seconds and it'll turn the modeling lamp on. But if you're trying to like tap it again to turn it off or hold it again to turn it off, that's not going to do it. We're back to that system where the lamp's going to stay on for 30 seconds until you take a shot and then that will turn the modeling lamp off. Max power is 10. That's gonna give you your uh, 1200 watts. And you're gonna see it's pretty quick. The specs on these guys are great. They're real close to the Profoto battery powered packs. Um, full power recycle times less than, I think it's a second and a half. One of the nice features is they have a system called Hypersync built into their kits. And so using the Pocket Wizard Flex TT6, and the Pocket Wizard Plus 2, I think you can use a couple different receivers. It enables you to go past the um, barrier of a 200th of a second that most flash systems with a DSLR are going to limit you to. 
and this will enable you to freeze action. The way the, the hypersync works is it's not getting the full burst of the 1200 watts, it's catching the peak of it. And high speed sync, the way I understand that works is it's a whole bunch of small little flashes. And so that's even less power than this is gonna give you. And either way, you gotta bring your light in um, as close as you can to your subject to, to use it and make it work. But um, I've shot some stuff outside, freezing action for soccer. Shot some stuff in the studio, freezing action. And so using the setup definitely works. I've got an X on here, that doesn't mean it's broken. I just, I never use the B side, it only gives me 600 watts. So that's just to let my assistants know you wanna plug into the full power 1200 watt side. Over here you got two fuse boxes. I've never pulled these fuses out and changed them, but um, I guess maybe they do at some point blow and they do give you a free fuse. This is the slave eye, slaves on if you're not wanting to use the slave and just use the built in receiver. That works great, I think up to like 100 feet. You can also use pocket wizards with these guys. And so the male just goes into the female for the sink. To go and should fire. And you'll see it like when you're down at low power, four is your bottom. I mean, this thing's just going to be like lightning fast on the recycle time. It's just really quick. A couple other things I want to show you on this pack to. Um, Change your settings. If you hold these two inner arrows and you wait till it starts flashing, this tells you the time of when my pack's going to time out. So that's that was telling me, hey, I've got 30 minutes that it'll stay on, and then after that it'll time out. And so the default on these is 15 minutes. I find that to be a little bit too short. But so if you're wanting to change it, you just hit the arrow up or down, and then it'll just automatically store that information once it stops flashing. Another thing, if you uh, when you saw on that startup, the halogen lamp came on. If you are actually wanting to use the AC drawer and switch to LED, you're going to hold this lamp and then the power button for, I believe it's uh, 10 seconds, you just keep holding the modeling lamp until you see this halogen start flashing. Now I can switch it to LED and then back to halogen. And again, It'll just keep flashing, and then once it stopped flashing, it's stored whatever you've saved in your system. If you need to do a firmware update, they've got a port right here, and it takes an old printer cable. You just plug that into the port. This side's a USB side. Plug that into your computer. Go to the Hensel website. You'll find their um, download software, and that's the way you can, it's pretty simple. They'll walk you through how to do a firmware update on your um, pencil pack if that's needed. For the battery drawer, you see this down arrow. You're just gonna wanna squeeze it, slide it out, and then to slide it back in, it only goes one way, and you'll hear that click once it's locked into place. The chargers are great. These guys usually charge up in a couple hours. It takes a regular computer cord to plug into the charger, and then you just plug straight into the wall. And then on this end, with that battery, you're just going to um, slide it into the charge part. There's a little cuff link that's going to lock it into place. And when you're charging it, it's uh, got a red, orange, uh, green system to let you know 10%, 50%, 100 So it's not exact, but it gives you a brief thing. Same thing on the pack, letting you know where it's at. Sometimes you got to hit that little wake up button to get it um, going on the charge. Hensel's got two different kits. One, this is the newer one that takes the 300 watt LED modeling lamp. And then this is the older one that takes the 60 watt halogen modeling lamp. This one's a little bit cheaper than the newer one. And you have to be careful because you can't mix and match the, the cords and the heads. What will happen is, is if you take, um, you know, if you take this cord and use it with this head, you're, it's not going to fire and you're going to get an air four. And so they have, them, they have them labeled to see the difference. This one's got a yellow marking, and the yellow marking has to go with the EH Pro Mini 1200P. This one has a red and yellow, so this one can actually work with both, but this one will not work with this head, and this is the um, EH Mini P. And I found just keeping the names... Um, Separated was a little bit confusing, so I did a color code system. I just put a red tape on the red head, so red goes with red, 
and yellow goes with yellow. And that's how I keep those separate so they don't get mixed and match. One of the cool things that you can do is if you need to like get this head real far away from the pack, you can actually use these cables as an extension. So if you've got it on a boom arm or something like that, you can um, extend it out and end up making your, your cable um, twice as long. So that's a sweet feature you can do with these kits and you can do that with the old and the new. Again, just you can't mix and match the cables, keep them separate. All right, so there you go. That's a brief overview of the Hensel Porty 1200 packs. I hope you guys learned something and have a great day.